you are the same this is our fifth video in the previous four video we discussed ki how the king moves pawn moves queen bishop knight what the shape of chess board how the pieces move how to place the pieces how to read the chess board and many more stuff in today class we discuss ki how to do two rook checkmate two rook checkmate is very easy we learn simple technique so you can easily do two rook checkmate so i arrange the position now i take the white king and put to e1 square and take the black king at and put to d4 square now i take two rooks one put at a2 square and other one is a3 square clear now you notice keep the <laughs> the one rook make a wall in the second line and the the this rook make a wall in third line in what is a wall basically the king not able to move this position because if the king moves down then what happens the rook simply capture the king same here if the king moves to this position then again the king the rook simply capture the king and as well as this position so it means this rook make a wall in third line clear now the king has only this area to move we already know the king only move one step in one move so the king move king has an option to move in these five square one is c4 other one is c5 then d5 e5 as well as e4 any doubt in this now you know the counting yes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so now you notice your one rook at second line and the other rook at third line so which rook at lower position means downward position the h2 rook so what we did we simply do just move the rook to up and give check to the king so i simply move the rook to h4 and give check to the king now see king in the danger position king need to change the position otherwise the rook will capture the king so now the king has only three option to move and save himself because if the king go down like this then this rook will capture the king if the king go right or left then this rook will capture the king so king has only one two three option to move let's start if the king move to d4 now which rook at lower position this rook at lower position or this rook at lower position the third one now again we move the rook and go up and give check to the king again king has three option 1 2 3 if the king choose to d4 now again you use same technique and the technique is ki just see which rook at lower position we see ki okay the h4 rook at lower position push this rook up and again give check to the king now again king has three option 1 2 3 now king move to d7 again we see ki which rook at lower position we find out the a5 rook at lower position push this rook up again give check to the king again the king go up and now again we see ki which rook at lower position the h6 rook at lower position push the rook up and give check to the king now king has no option to move anywhere because if the king go down the same the rook will capture if the go king go right or left this rook will capture and the king has no option to go up so it means this is a checkmate when the king has no option to move and save himself that's the checkmate easy clear any doubt if you have any doubt just drop your comment now we see the next position okay i take the same position we discuss the other position in next class so now same position but in this position we change the king black king position okay now what we do again we notice ki which rook at lower position the h3 one we move the rook to h4 you already know if the king go down then what happen this rook will capture the king 
if the king got this position this position again the rook will capture the king so king has only three option to move but it's a king's choice na king is not your friend king try to capture your piece attack on your piece so might be king go this side or this side as well hai na d5 c5 and e5 king has three option you know that but might be the king move to c5 or e5 so if the king move to c5 then what we do again we notice ki which rook at lower position yes a3 rook at lower position i move this rook up and give check to the king simple now again king has need to king need to move uh, somewhere to protect himself again king not able to move this side this side this side this side this side yes you know the answer because rook will capture the king now king has option only move to b6 c6 and d6 now king think ki if i go to b6 then i can easily attack on the rook yes so if the rook if the king capture the rook then the white has only one rook and it's difficult for white to do checkmate that's why the king move to b6 now what happens some student do mistake ki just see ki which rook at lower position and move that rook and again give check to the king but in this position what happened the king simply captured it and you feel so sad oh so oh, i lose my rook so in this position what you do when you see na the king is near to your rook you just run away now now you see you have a lot of option to move your rook but we want ki if i we see ki if we move down then our ball is break the king simply go down now what we do we simply move our rook only on this line now let's see ki which option is best for the rook to move if you move to this position it's a bad move the king will capture you if you move your rook to this position again this is a bad move because again king capture you if you move like this so you feel okay relax now the king not capture me but the problem is the king move to c6 and again you need to run away again you need to change the rook position clear so now what we do we simply move our rook to last square like this again there is not a good move why any idea i give you one minute just find out you think is why i am saying this is a bad move this is not a good move hmm Hmm. No. See, this rook become angry. The rook say, "I'm not able to move up. I'm only able to move down and like this." So this rook become angry. Yes, because this rook not move upward side. It means if you move your rook to h5, then both rook not play nicely. So one rook, this rook not go down, and this rook not able to go up. so what we do we simply move the rook but put to g5 square so this rook also go up down right as well as left also and this rook also move up down as well as left side also so both the rook play effectively now again is a black turn now how many option king has to move king has one Two, three, four, five option to move. It's king choice. King move anywhere. You simply see which rook at lower position. We find out if this rook at lower position. Simply move this rook and give check to the king. Again, king has three option. Again, you notice king move to this side because again they want to capture you. Again, he want to capture you. They simply move to d seven. You move your rook up. and now if the king moves to e8 which rook at lower position just tell me the answer fast yes h7 is a downward position rook so you can simply move the rook to h7 and give check and now king has no option to move anywhere so that's a check mate so understand what do you mean by checkmate and how you do two rook checkmate we discuss the we discuss
discuss a lot of position but in today class we simply see the two scenario that basically two position with different scenarios clear if you have any doubt any issue just drop your comment i try to solve your query as early as possible bye bye enjoy your day